Hi, it's Marianne, the Frugal Chef. Why don't we cook some white chicken chili in the crock pot today? You know, I love cooking in the crock pot. You just leave everything there, you go do your thing, you come back hours later and your dinner's ready. You walk into the house and it smells, oh, like heaven. <laughs> let's make this, okay? So let's start putting all our stuff into our crock pot. I'm going to add a large yellow onion, which I chopped, a pound of pre-soaked cannelli beans, and a can of corn, which I drained. I'm adding a whole chicken breast, which I cubed, and I seasoned it with salt and pepper. Two really big garlic cloves, which I minced. Two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, and a chopped chipotle pepper with some of its uh, sauce. I'm going to season this with salt and pepper. And I added six cups of chicken broth. I'm just going to give this a good mix. The reason I use so much chicken stock was because I'm using beans that are not cooked. Uh, I need the, all that liquid because the beans are going to plump up in the pot and I don't want this to burn. I'm going to cook this on high for about six hours precisely because my beans are, are not cooked. Now if you were using canned beans, go ahead and use about three cans uh, for this recipe, you know the, the eight ounce cans, you can put one more if you want. Three is probably enough. Make sure you leave all the liquid inside the can and use a lot less chicken broth you don't need so much liquid. Probably two to three cups is enough. And then if you've already, if you're using the pre-cooked beans, you can cook this on low for six hours, okay? So our, I'll see you guys in six hours. Our chili is done, guys. It's been six hours. The beans are nice and soft. Most of the liquid is gone. This is awesome. Let's serve this. And here, my friends, is our white chicken chili. I'm going to serve it with some sour cream. This, by the way, is homemade sour cream. I'm going to make a video for you guys and show you how to make this. And a little bit of shredded cheese. Yum! This is absolutely delish. And what I love is I didn't have to do a thing to it. Just put it in the crock pot and forget it. Bon appetit, my friends, from thefrugalchef.com. Come and see us. We have all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. Eat well without going broke. And I will see you guys soon.